What's going on in today's video, I'm going to be covering all the things you need to know to maximize your FPS and minimize your input delay and ping. Recently, I realized that my PC was running super poorly, so I compiled a list of things that worked for me. The first trick I want to go over is the best way to lower your ping. Now this is something the six times FNCS winner and reigning global champion Mirror uses, as well as one of the biggest streamers in the Fortnite community, Asian Jeff. It's called Gear Up Booster. We all know there are multiple regions in Fortnite, but what a lot of people don't know is that there's different server locations for each region. What Gear Up Booster allows you to do is connect efficiently to the closest server location to you for each region, all while routing as directly as possible. What you want to do is launch the program, find Fortnite, and then click on the little icon that says Boost. Then it will automatically connect to the most optimal server for you. This lowered my ping on Central from 50 to 35, which is an insane difference. Unlike VPNs, Gear Up Booster doesn't encrypt your data, so it's completely allowed for Fortnite. All you have to do is go down to the top of the description and click the first link to download Gear Up Booster today. Next, I'm going to be going over the optimal settings for Fortnite. These are the settings to get the best delay and FPS possible. First thing you want to do is if you're on PC, make sure you're on performance mode. Virtually every pro uses it and there are no downsides. If you don't want your game to have mobile builds, you can turn on high meshes to make your builds look higher quality. You want Nanite virtualized geometry off, view distance can be lowered to improve performance, textures don't matter unless your GPU is really bad, and as I said earlier, meshes are preference, however lower meshes tend to give you a little bit lower delay. The last thing you want to do is make sure your subtitles are off. All these cause delay and lower FPS. You want to put all the settings in this tab all the way to the left. For console players, the only real options you have in the Fortnite settings are to disable motion blur and disable replays. Although those are only two settings, they both have a great impact on your performance in game. The next thing I want to talk about is your friends list. Most people don't know this, but having a ton of friends on your friends list or friend requests building up makes your game more delayed. If you have a ton of friend requests building up, the easiest way to decline them all is to turn friend requests off to get rid of them, and then you can turn it back on. Another thing to note is that having a ton of skins isn't good for performance either. I recommend that you don't buy any skins just for the sake of having them in your locker. The last thing I want to note is that certain skins and cosmetics have more delay than others. A tweaker named Paragon found out a long time ago that the more animation a skin or pickaxe has, the more delay it gives. The best skins are ones that are plain, without much going on, while the worst ones are the things that have a ton of animation. The next thing I want to go over is for people on PC. Open the Windows search bar and type in Startup and click on the Startup Apps tab. In Startup, you want to make sure that all the unnecessary programs are ticked off so that they won't launch when you open your PC. If you fail to check these, not only will it make your PC start a lot slower, certain things will run in the background and make your PC slower while you play. The next thing I want to talk about is the NVIDIA control panel. If you have a NVIDIA GPU, open your GeForce Experience panel with Alt plus Z. Then press Performance and you'll see a bunch of settings pop up on the left. What you want to do is enable automatic tuning, which might take a little while, and then slide all of the sliders to the very right. These settings will allow your computer to work to its potential without limiting itself to save on power consumption. The last thing I want to talk about is the NVIDIA control panel. You can access it by right clicking on your desktop and clicking on the NVIDIA control panel icon. Once you're inside, over near the top left, you can click manage 3D settings. Here, you should slow down the video and copy all of my settings. These settings will make it so that your PC is running at its maximum performance instead of saving for using power consumption. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. No long outros. Bye.